It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Raiders and the Rams. And it comes your way next on Madden NFL 24. This is the city, Los Angeles, California. That's where we are for this edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Las Vegas Raiders taking on the Los Angeles Rams. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gauden. Now, Charles, you and I, we've done a lot of games together. Always seems like we're rehashing the same storylines. Turnovers, of course, always a big story. Quarterback play, running backs, yada, yada, yada. But getting ready for this one, one word kept coming to mind, and that's preparation. Well, it's critical to be prepared physically, mentally. When you think about getting ready for an NFL game, you have to wonder, what will they throw at us that maybe we haven't seen before? two-minute drill, maybe different things like that. Got to be prepared. You're exactly right. And we are underway from SoFi Stadium. This taken in right around the goal line. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. Leading the charge at quarterback, the former Georgia Bulldog, Matthew Stafford. And Matthew Stafford was taken first overall in the 2009 draft, and he certainly played like a top pick. Throughout his career, he's been one of the most prolific passers in the league, and there's no reason to believe he's going to slow down his production anytime soon. Not only that, he's also one of the tougher quarterbacks in the league as well. Going to be taken in here by Nakua. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you got to run fast. Of course, you got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness, there's a premium for all of that now. A shotgun snap for Stafford. Pass complete there to Nakua. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. So we just called his name on the previous snap, and they go right back to him, Charles, for a second consecutive completion. Yeah, I think what we're discovering on this drive is that he feels like he has answers no matter what defense you throw up there. He reads it, finds the open spot, and is available for the completion. On first down at Stafford. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down L.A. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And the top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Robert Spillane. And they'll start out with great field position at the 47-yard line in enemy territory. That right there is the inauspicious start that they were hoping to avoid the turnover on the first possession. I love how you use those college-bound words like that, inauspicious. Well done. I really appreciate that. Thank but you. here's the thing for me. I'm just wondering if their game plan is incorrect. You know, I think they felt like they could come in and throw it around pretty well. That interception early, they may rethink how they go about attacking. First down, here's White. And running with power here. 
And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Thought they were going to have him down a lot earlier, but he was able to shed that tackle. Shows the value of the weight room, doesn't it? Shows the value of the attitude when you run the football. Don't go down easily. Break a few tackles. Gain some additional yardage. First down throw, O'Connell. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Not sure what happened there, but he just didn't get the right read on the coverage that time. Pass wasn't where it needed to be, and that'll send them back to the drawing board. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. And they go play action here with O'Connell. Caught on the right side by Adams. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Back to throw, O'Connell. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Pretty solid opening drive here, Charles. They worked in the run game, the pass game, just steadily getting yards, and now they've got it inside the red zone here with an opportunity. And the only thing they don't have so far is points. But the way that they're moving the ball now, that shouldn't take much longer. And they've established a great balance so far, running, passing, doing what they want on offense. Now a give up the middle. This is White. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. That was a really nice play, being able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to, he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. He filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. On second down, they'll run with White. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they will just roam and hit. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. Fourth down, and on comes the Raider kicker, Daniel Carlson. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. Carlson able to put this one through. And the Raiders jump out to a 3-0 advantage. Well, it's not the touchdown that they wanted, CD, but still, they got to be pretty happy here. You steal the ball away from them on their opening possession, and you turn that into the early 3-0 lead. Yeah, you painted the picture perfectly there, all the things that have gone on. And the important thing, other than the lead, of course, is as you described, both sides of the ball now have some momentum. is the Raider kickoff unit now as they will send this one away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. Their second drive here, the ball game charge. Remember last time they threw the interception, but the defense held up. It bent a little, but didn't break, only giving up the three points. Yeah, obviously they left some points on the table there their last time out, but boy, they have to thank their defense for holding the opposition just three after they threw the pick. Their turn now, back out on the field, put together a good drive and get some points of their own. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so he'll just put that in a spot where the only people who could make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. 
A first run now for Kyron Williams. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. Throwing on third down, Stafford. That is caught. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. Looking left side. He's got it complete. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. And that was a heck of a play there on the outside. Partner, sometimes I think on a play like this as a corner, you've got to think to yourself, all I've got to do is slow him down so others can come over and support. But in this case, he said, forget that. I've got this. Sorry you had to make the run for nothing, fellas. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And it's third and four now. One of the things you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Stafford looks to throw again. And that is incomplete. So on fourth down, on is Ethan Evans to punt for the Rams. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and ten. They start to drive with White. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Well, you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. Playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Here's O'Connell. The short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. His first catch, good for 16 and a first. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. They run straight ahead here with White. And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. How many times do we say in this game is speed kills? And it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you've got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary. That led to a really nice game. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now, and it's Las Vegas with the football as they've got it with a first and ten. No. 
White running to the left. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Fakes the handoff. Now O'Connell to throw. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. From the shotgun, O'Connell. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams' 13-yard line. 13 yards down to the 13. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. That run wasn't a big breaker, but I don't think the guys on offense mind very much. They've got a nice drive going, and they might just be luring the defense in a little bit. They could probably come back with a play action, maybe go over the top. But right now, on this drive, their playbook is open. On second down, O'Connell. And that's going to be caught for a later touchdown. Devontae Adams, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Raiders are able to widen their advantage. They went five wide in that offensive set. And racing, going three wide is a big deal. To go five, how about the way that they finish things off? <laughs> Did you just fit a race car reference into the game? Zoom, zoom. How about the way that you play? When you go five wide, that means you're going fast now. Zoom, zoom indeed. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And the lead grows to 10 nothing. That time, a nine-play drive. And Devontae Adams able to finish things with a touchdown reception. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end. Now a hit and a loose football. And the Raiders pick it up. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. So problems compounding themselves here on the return. They just give up the touchdown, and now they lose the football. Yeah, partner, things are starting to unravel a little bit for them right in front of our eyes. They're going to be looking for some answers, and quickly. On first and ten, it's O'Connell. Over the middle, and Mayer hauls it in. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Mark that as a gain of 16 to set them up first and goal. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the seven down to the four-yard line. Definitely an important sequence here for this defense. They've had their share of struggles in this first half. They just cannot afford to give up another touchdown here. Second and goal from inside the five. 
Again, this is White. And not a whole lot there as they'll get him down at about the two. And give him two yards officially, and now it'll be third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. The Raiders on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and goal. White. Diving for the end zone, and he'll get there. Touchdown. But they decided to run it in and got it done on third and goal. A lot of times, that's a passing play. And the kicker just has to come out for the PAT. He can breathe a sigh of relief as well, right? Although, I don't know if he's really breathing a sigh of relief. I think he likes to put three points on his ledger. Carlson now to add the extra point. He's got it, and it's 17-0. A drive there of just four plays. And it was finished off with a touchdown run by Zamir White. as the Raider kickoff unit now as they will send this one away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you don't down. don't want to. Well, no, but oh, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you, just, you, called it I think you just called it desperation time. I, I think did. you did. But yeah. let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating, to use a boxing analogy. Stafford's throw pulled in by Atwell here. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Now a throw here to his running back. Two yards, good enough for a first been a very one-sided game so far they got to change what they're doing right now don't they you can't wait till the halftime speech to make an adjustment no you can't because if you're doing it right you're adjusting from series to series and they need a big adjustment here to try and put some points on the board on first and ten Stafford to the sideline and wow what a catch doesn't get a lot out of it but he is able to keep the feet in bounds I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case, the feet, did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Out of the gun, Stafford. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Here's Ethan Evans now. The call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return, and the Raiders will take over now first and 10. 
Here's Zamir White returning to the field. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. They'll get this to about the 38. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. From the 38 now, here's second down and seven. They'll go up the middle with White, and a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. The offense on third down, they've been good. Three for four thus far. Here it's third and two. Here's O'Connell looking to throw it. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. So on fourth down, here's A.J. Cole to punt for the Raiders. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Open man, Higby, the tight end. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. Now Stafford. Incomplete. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Now it's Stafford. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Well, this first half has not gone according to plan so far offensively or even defensively for that matter. They could use a big-time spark somewhere, but it's not going to come on this drive as they have to punt this one away. Ethan Evans on now to punt. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. It's taken to the 26. A seven-yard return following a punt of 45 yards. And it'll be Raiders football first and 10. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. And O'Connell now to throw. Throw out wide is incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground, incomplete. 
An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now O'Connell. A short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. O'Connell on first and 10. Slant to Adams. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. The Raiders are going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Second down and a yard. Now it's O'Connell. Short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. They got a completion there, but that's clearly an example of one side happy, the other side not very happy. Defense, very, <laughs> hey, take one or two yards. We're good with that. Offense, you've got to expect to get more on the passing play. O'Connell looking to throw on first. And that nearly trouble, but it's incomplete. The rookie had it and lost it, and it'll be second down. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. And once again, O'Connell back to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Myers. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. Let's go, baby. Let's go, Let's go, Let's go, baby. It's showtime, baby. Throwing on first down, O'Connell. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. They'll wind up getting just a yard, and that's going to bring up second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. He hit his first, now this from 43. The kick by Carlson is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So this lead, Charles, just continuing to swell here in the first half. Well, it's interesting. When we talked to them prior to the game, they told us that their game plan was take no prisoners, and they've lived up to it so far because everything has worked. No guarantee that'll continue, but all in all, this coaching staff's got to be very pleased by what they've seen. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Raiders out in front as we send you cross country to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report.
All right, Brandon, back to you too in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports Halftime Report. This All was right, an extremely one-sided we first half. Welcome everyone One team showed up, ready to go. Three. The other's been in a daze thus far, but there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. The Raiders with the lead already, and they will get the football here as the second half is now underway. Taking it about the one. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Raider offense ready to go here to start the third quarter. A run to begin the second half with White. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. But let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains. That means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. They keep it on the ground. White again. He'll get a yard, that's all, as they get him down at the 28. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you, and sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play, as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. Throwing, O'Connell. here as he's taken down the defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack they need to stop to get back into this game and here's one right to start the third quarter yeah anytime you go to the lockers with that two three score deficit you're right you need that stop get the football back and they've done just that series to series play to play Here's A.J. Cole now as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Returnable here from the 38. Good blocking there, nearly sprung him as it is. It'll go as a 19-yard return. And the Rams are going to start this drive in great field position as they take over. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Stafford on first down. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Maybe a little frustration starting to creep in. The offensive line hasn't done a great job of protecting him in this game. And there he was, hit again as he threw it. Yeah, another time on his backside. Probably starting to get a little frustrated. Got to keep his composure. Can't let the defense know that they're getting to him. On second and ten, Stafford. He'll drop this down to Williams. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. To throw is Stafford. And down he goes, brought down a Raiders sack. 
Malcolm Koontz coming in to drop him for a loss of eight. And it also brings up fourth. He found his way into the backfield, and he simply would not be denied. Well, they say that life's all about opportunities, and that holds true when you're playing defense as well. How about him seeing that chance, making the most of it, did a great job of wrapping him up and bringing him down. Here comes the Rams punter now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. Las Vegas' is offense back out there, ready to go. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. First down throw, O'Connell. Got an open man, it's Michael Gallup. Second down and three. O'Connell working from the gun. That's caught once again by Gallup. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. That's another beautiful throw right there. It gets it to his man right in stride. And I think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this offense throughout this game. They've been in rhythm. They've been sharp. They've been on it. And they pick up another first down there. From the shotgun, O'Connell. Short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. On a handoff, it's White. 64 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're gonna smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Opting to run again here with White. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. That one will go as a gain of 11. Raiders having a first down as well. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. A quick throw out to Adams on the perimeter. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it'll be second down. Back to throw, O'Connell. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Jacoby Myers, the intended receiver. And that'll make it third down. To throw here, O'Connell. And this is caught. Touchdown, Raiders! Devontae Adams, his second touchdown of the afternoon as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. So another touchdown there, and even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it, Pick a play, any play. They're rocking and rolling right now. 
Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that stretches the lead all the way up to 27. On is the Raider kickoff unit now as they will send this one away. And not willing to risk another fumble. He'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. But we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, C.D., and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. From the gun, here's Stafford. That's complete to his tight end, Higby. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender, but the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. This second and four. Back to throw, Stafford. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. He's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Now Stafford. Shoves him aside, and he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They give him seven yards on the play, and they do pick up the conversion on third down. That's not the first time they've looked his way when they've needed a big play. He's been the go-to guy all game long, and they get the hook up again on third down to keep this drive alive. Now a first down carry. It's Williams. And this will be taken across midfield and into Raider territory. Divine Diablo there to make the stop. Well, this defense, they've got the four-score advantage, and you can see why they continue to bottle up the run game, and really they've just been sharp in all facets here in this one, CD. Yeah, they've kept that offense in check the entire game, and I think it's been led by what you just talked about, that defensive front, which has not allowed them to run the football and establish control of the line of scrimmage. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave them with a third and about five. We have played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Los Angeles. It's the Rams trailing, but they do have the football as we start the fourth and final quarter. Stafford. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Ja'Korian Bennett has it. So a nice play defensively by the rookie coming up with the INT. And that's a late round pick right there, making a first round impact. And a lot of these day three corners end up winding up on special teams and sub packages and even on the practice squad. But he's really made an impact on this defense, and he comes up with the interception there. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. A good starting spot for the Raiders as they come up first and 10 at their 35 yard line. They begin the drive on the ground. It's White, and they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. 
Now, I think we can get used to seeing more of that in this fourth quarter, especially if they're having success on the ground like they did there. Yeah, I think back when we met with the head coach in, in preseason, and all he talked about was building a bully. And I think it was this situation he was envisioning. Trying to ice a game, plenty of time left, but being able to give the ball to his big runner and pound away and try and finish off a game. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. The Raiders on third down. They've hit four of seven. This time they face a third and two. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with White. And yeah, this is not going to be enough. Was in search of two yards and only got halfway there. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. Now the Rams offense getting the football back. At this point, partner, things looking pretty bleak. They still haven't scored here in the fourth quarter, facing the big deficit. I just what silver linings, what can they look to do here offensively? You know, it's funny. I talked about this with a coach in the offseason and kind of had this scenario, like what feels good to you and what feels good to your team? You're down big. You really have like one possession left, and you're trying to put points on the board that don't matter. But do they? And he told me they actually do matter. And in this situation, he's going to try and run the best offense he can run to have at least a little bit of confidence to take away from that game. So right now, they're going to try their best to get something up on the board and not get shut out. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Stafford. He'll get this one complete to Atwell. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. And with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for first down. Well, we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants his lead to stay right where it is. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it's second down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. From just across the midfield stripe, here's second and three. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, it just seems like all game long there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. <laughs> I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. To the air again, Stafford. Going to be taken in here by Nakua. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. From the 33, here's second down and one. Stafford now to throw. Pass complete there to Nakua. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Yeah. 
On first down at Stafford. Open man is Atwell complete. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Stafford looks to throw again. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. Off of play action, here's Stafford. Matthew Stafford finding Cooper Cup for the touchdown there. And the Rams are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. So they will get on the scoreboard here. Give them credit for that. Too little, too late, but no zero. Are you, you're going slow clap on me. <laughs> Not very nice, is it? No, but they haven't been very nice on offense. It's been a struggle. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead now down to 20. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And the hands team for the Raiders able to secure it. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics would tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll try the right side here with White. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to. And right now they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score, but they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. They stay on the ground with White. 102 yards for him on the ground now on that, his 20th carry of the ball game. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. On the handoff, this is White. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play there. Second down. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. So make sure you get in shape. Oh, and fine work there as he gets this thing down to the 11-yard line. A pickup of 10, and it's enough for a Las Vegas first down. Hate to be blunt, but it is just continuing to prove to be the case that this O-line is manhandling this D-line right now. They deserve 
to roll up their sleeves and show up their biceps because they're doing exactly what you just described, manhandling the defensive front. They've got the leverage, they're powering through, and they're controlling this game. So this one, a victory for the Las Vegas Raiders. And we talk so much about the turnover battle, determining who wins, who loses. This game, no exception. Air-free football, no turnovers at all, and they win it. So this is one you don't have to convince your team that what you're saying is accurate. And you know what I'm talking about. Head coach always stands up in front of the team and says, guys, if we do this, this, and this, we'll win. And usually they say, if we win the turnover battle, we'll win. Well, here's the proof right there. Win the turnover battle, go on to victory. Now the guys believe you move on to the next lesson where you have to